ladies and gentlemen i welcome all to my channel i am rajakali and today we are going to discuss about the cancellation of documents how to cancel the documents in this video we are going to see how we can cancel a will how we can cancel power of attorney how we cancel settlement deed and and also the sale deed the procedure to be followed to cancel the will power of power of attorney settlement and the sale deed are discussed in this video so first let us see how to cancel the will i have already explained about the nature of the will will is nothing but a recording a registration of a registration recording the intention of the uh, testator how his property to be disposed or shared as per the desire of the testator here testator means who makes the will is called testator so supposing your father makes a will and says that the property a should go to son and property b should go to daughter and property c should go to his wife the maker is called testator the son daughter and wife are of the beneficiaries so here the will in the will the maker that is a testator only records his desire his intention and direction how his properties how the properties belong to him and how the property left by him should be distributed or shared to his legal guys or to the any persons so supposing a person makes a will and he wanted to cancel the will he can simply go to the concerned register office where he has executed the will and he can simply cancel the will saying that i am cancelling the will here in the will here the person making a will is only recording the intention his intention and so he need not get any opinion consent or the concurrence of the beneficiaries so supposing a father makes a will and he, after one month or after six months or after three years period he wanted to cancel the will he need not get the consent of the son or daughter or wife for the cancellation of the will because he himself has made the his he himself has made a direction registering recording his intention to be taken out at the time of his death so here the consent of the beneficiary is not necessary he can directly go to the registry office and register cancel the will so cancellation is also simple he can simply put a cancellation deed in the in the cancellation deed he can simply say i have made so and so will now i have decided to cancel the will so i am cancelling the will so that the job is over now the second document is called power of attorney power of attorney is called, there are two types of power of attorney one is called general power of attorney and the second one is called specific power of attorney in the power of attorney the person making the or executing the power of attorney appoints another person as his agent or attorney to do some job on his behalf so here in the power of attorney a person appoints another person as an agent he only gets the right to do some job which is dictated by the principal that is the maker of the uh, the executor of the power of attorney so here also supposing a person decided to cancel the power of attorney he can simply go to the registry office and he can simply register the cancellation deed saying that i have executed so and so power of attorney 
now i have decided to cancel this power of attorney so i am cancelling the power of attorney if you make such and such type of declaration as such and type of document uh, with the name cancellation of cancellation document cancellation deed that it itself is sufficient automatically the registrar will register the thing automatically by through this method a will and the power of attorney can be cancelled both in the will and in the power of attorney the property is not transferred no transfer took place took place under the will or under the power of attorney as far as the will is concerned the property will be transferred in the event of the death so only after the death of the executor the property will be transferred here in the, in the power of general power of attorney authorizing a person to sell the property he will get the the agent will have the power and authority to sell the property or to transfer the property as long as it is not revoked it is not cancelled by the principal principal means who makes the uh, power of attorney is called principal to whom the power is given authorization is given permission is given is called agent or attorney so now if supposing the power of supposing a gives a power of attorney to b to sell the property and the b acted on the basis of the power of attorney and sell the property and executed the sale deed then it will be binding on the principal suppose father gives a power of attorney to his son and the son goes and sell the property automatically suppose the son goes to the registrar office and make a sale deed and get a put a signature on the behalf of the father and sell the property the action is complete the property is transferred so in that case the father cannot go and cancel the power of attorney because the the power given is already executed and the property is transferred so in such case circumstances even if the cancellation of power of attorney is done that will not have any effect so if a person gives a power to sell the property or any for any other thing and the cancellation is done cancellation document is registered the moment the cancellation document is registered the power get, get got extinguished then thereafter he cannot transfer or he cannot the agent he cannot make any sale deed he cannot make any document so prior to the cancellation if the agent execute the sale deed on behalf of the principal and transfer the property or sell the property then it will be binding on the principal so this is the conditions so as far as the power is concerned if the agent has not acted upon has not done has not sold has not transferred the property he can cancel the document regarding the cancellation procedure is concerned the a principal who gives the power can directly go to the registrar office and you can make a cancellation deed in 100 rupees stamp paper and get it registered the deed is all for that cancellation also the registrar will uh, will collect only a nominal fees around 1000 100 rupees to 500 rupees only uh, the expenses so that can be done the registrar may ask the original power of attorney the may ask the produce the original power of attorney so that he can uh, make an endorsement saying that this power is cancelled in the original power of attorney supposing you gave the power of attorney to one person he is rough come he, he, the original is with the agent in that case also the registrar cannot compel the person that i will register the cancellation only after the production of the original power of attorney he cannot say like that if he registrar says anything like that that is also not correct so suppose a gives the power of attorney to b and b he did not acted bona fidely he acted uh, malefactly and he did some wrong uh, then the or the person who gives the power can directly go to the registrar office and cancel the power of attorney for that thing he need not produce he cannot need not call the agent to come and sign the document he witness the agent need not be uh, his signature of the agent can need not be uh, is not at all record and registrar also cannot compel the signature of the agent or production of the original document If, the, if he may ask the document, you can simply say it is with him or it is misplaced or something like that. On the basis of that, you can cancel that deed. Once the power of attorney is cancelled, you have a duty to inform the agent saying that I have cancelled this your deed through so and so document. So your power 
uh, authority given to you is come to an end. It has ceased to be existing. It will not have any effect. So, you should not do anything on the basis of the power of attorney given previously. So, that once you give the notice to the uh, agent saying that the power is cancelled, then he cannot act. Supposing, even after the cancellation, even after the intimation of this cancellation of deed to the agent, if he did any acts, that will not be binding on the power of attorney, general principle. So, if anything, suppose you give the power of attorney to another person and he cancels the document and thereafter he goes to the register office and makes a sale deed or suppose uh, thereafter he go to, go, to, go to the own person or approaches a person and get some advance on the basis of the showing the original power of attorney and uh, collect some amount, then that will also not binding on you. In that case, it will be binding uh, then the person who gives, gave money to the agent can collect the money only from the agent. The agent alone will be responsible. Strictly speaking, he may say you, uh, the principal liability will be fixed only on the agent. And if he violated such things, then we can also file a criminal case saying that you have gone beyond the limit, you have exceeded the authority and what, what you have done is not true, it is fraud. Uh, cheating like that, you can make any uh, any case, a criminal case against the power of attorney agent. So, this is the procedure regarding will and now let us see the third one, the cancellation of settlement. As far as the settlement and the sale are concerned, both are transfer of properties. Both in settlement, the property transfer from one person to another person. In sale deed, the property is transferred from seller to buyer for consideration. The seller buyer uh, sell, uh, seller receives some money from the buyer and transfer the property. In settlement, the settler that is a who gives the property may give the property out of love and affection, or he may give the property with some conditions or he may give the property gratuitously or without receiving any money or with, for any without any reasons. So, here the property is also transferred from one person to another person, maybe without out of love and compassion or for any other reasons. It can, he need not receive any actual sale consideration from the person who receives the property. Here the transfer is totally completed. So, as far as the settlement is concerned, the settler should give the property to the settlee and the, he should have the title over the property and he should, the, the, the property transfer should have been done with, without any coercion, it should be done with, with free consent and the settlee should receive, accept the settlement and take the property and take the possession of the property and the delivery of the possession should be complete. Once these three elements, settler, settlee and delivery of possession and acceptance of the property by the settlee is done, the transfer is complete. Once these three possession of the property is delivered and completed and accepted by the settlee, then it came to an end. It can, it, the settlement is totally complete in all aspects. So, then thereafter it cannot be cancelled by the settler by for any reasons. However, supposing the father gives the property to the son saying that uh, with some conditions saying that you should maintain me or I am giving the property A to son, we should conduct the marriage of daughter out of his own expenses. So, for that sake only I am giving this property. Like that if you put any some conditions or suppose the father gives a property and says that you should maintain myself and my wife, mother and sister till our lifetime. Then the son can accept such settlement with such conditions. So, son cannot simply take the property and push away the uh, ignore these conditions. He cannot ignore. 
if you want to accept the settlement you should accept it with such conditions if the father say you should maintain me my mother my, my mother and make uh, marry your uh, and conduct all you uh, should conduct the ex- marriage of to a daughter and you should bear all expenses like that if the father put a condition in the settlement deed the son should comply all those things if suppose he receives the property and fail to comply all those things any of such condition then the father the father has the right to cancel the uh, settlement deed that is now the under senior citizens act special act has been passed wherein uh, the various cases which is reported um, uh, just came to the government's knowledge that the, the after receiving the settlement deed the son uh, uh, fails to um, fails to maintain their parents so when when any such complaint is that under senior citizens act also the cancellation uh, the father can cancel the document regarding uh, in, in all other aspect he cannot simply cancel the document settlement deed now the last one is called sale deed once the sale took place for consideration then the seller cannot go on simply cancel the settlement say sale deed so sale deed once done it is it is it's, it's it's final in all aspect he cannot he cannot simply cancel the settlement uh, sale deed in many cases <coughs> i have seen that the builder who develops the property uh, who develops uh, who uh, develops the property and agrees to construct some flats uh, they normally used to make a sale deed in which they used to convey undivided share in the land or oh, certain percentage of undivided share in the land is conveyed to the purchaser and thereafter he will make an agreement called construction agreement in the under the construction agreement uh, they are here the builder agrees to construct some flat and provide some uh, facilities in the flat like what the construction agreement will be there sometimes what will happen now the did the builder will uh, uh, will not be in a position to hand over the possession of the property he may not complete the building uh, there may be delay in the, 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 then the dispute may come then in that case the buyer who paid paid the money he will demand the uh, builder to return the money for which in the which comes the builder will insist him to make a uh, cancellation deed cancellation deed ca- cancelling the sale deed strictly speaking such type of cancellation is not valid this is my opinion because once the sale is complete it is always complete in all aspect it cannot be simply cancel so what they have to do now they have if in that case if, if they want to make any such cancellation then they have have to reconvey the property to the builder or to any other person that is the uh, right thing because sale once as far as the sale is concerned when the person gives some consideration and takes the property and the property sale deed is registered it is it is final in all aspect it cannot be cancelled by by just going to the register office by, by, and making a cancellation deed by a seller and the buyer so cancellation such kind of cancellation cannot be done however however suppose such type of sale is done by fraud by mistake or some other uh, con- uh, reason which is which is not beyond the control of the uh, which is which is not beyond the control of the parties then in that case they can go for uh, cancellation of the deed assuming for a moment suppose the suppose the, the seller wanted to make a sell the property plot b instead of plot b he wrongly uh, types the word that uh, plot a is sold under the document so in that case what what they can do now they may they may cancel they may go for cancellation of the document saying that so by by mistake uh, a mistake has happened or uh, suppose Uh, by force and by suppose uh, supposing a person is for, um, free cons- free, there is no free consent suppose a person is forced threatened or intimidated 
and because of that such intimidation because of such pressure and he, he was uh, supposing a person came to the uh, kidnapped his daughter and uh, asked the uh, owner of the property to say, make a sale deed and uh, get it registered in favor of the party in that case such criminal suppose such a criminal threatening is a transfer made by of threatening force coercion in that case that can be cancelled so in that case if you want to go, go on to cancel you want to cancel the document if the both the parties go to the some concern register and say may make out a reason because the transfer of property is is nothing but a contract one person buys pays the money and takes a property such suppose such transfer such contract is not done in accordance with the contract law and it is violative of contract the general principle of contract then in that case it can be cancelled for the grounds mentioned in the contract act indian contract act so supposing the transfer is made by mistake uh, by threat or, or uh, instead of one property some other property is mentioned in that case that property can be cancelled by by uh, by the parties going to the court as far as as far as suppose uh, the registrar refuses to make any such cancellation deed then the parties may uh, in both in settlement suppose a father uh, father was threatened that uh, son, the son threatened the father and asked him to make a settlement deed and, and, and because of that force because of that threatening the father executed a settlement deed otherwise suppose a buyer threatened the uh, seller and kidnapped his daughter and asked him to make a sale deed and he on the basis of the pressure the person has made, made a sale deed in that case if the person or the buyer did not come to the register office to make a cancel as a deed then the aggrieved person may go to the court and file a suit suit for declaration declaring that this sale lead the so the sale made by so and so is not is null and void the settlement made by so and so settlement it is null and void it has no validity and you can also make a no, I can also make a uh, you can also concern register as a party to the suit and also ask the direction of the you can also for, pray for a direction from the court to direct the concern register to make a cancellation deed registered and to cancel the particular document so supposing a settlement deed or sale deed is executed without free consent or by coercion or by mistake or by any threatening in that case the pers- aggrieved person can go to the court and file a suit suit for declare suit for declaration declaring that so and so settlement deed or so and so sale deed is null and void then he can also implead sub concern sub register as a party and in the same suit we can also pre- make a, make, a, make a prayer uh, prayer for direction directing the concerned sub registrar to cancel the particular document and to note that uh, to make an entry in the registration record that such and such document is cancelled and such and such a document is not valid thereafter the concerned register they can the, on the basis of the direction the court's judgment and degree can be registered in the concerned register office to for the to the effect that such and such documents sale deed or the settlement deed is cancelled as per the order of the court then automatically the property will come back to the original owner this is the procedure regarding the settlement deed and sale deed cancellation i will make a separate video in detail mentioning the detailed procedure so that it will be easy for you easy for the partner persons to know the detailed procedure for the cancellation of sale deed and settlement deed so i will come with another topic so um, legal knowledge is power you can watch our video through which you can gain your knowledge and if you have uh, any doubt in the law you can watch my videos and i have more than 200 video videos in my channel in tamil and english channels that will be helpful to you the playlist is also very helpful to you in addition to that if you have any doubt you may also contact me or to my phone number if it is possible i will also help you uh, and uh, the knowledge is power if the legal knowledge is it will not only gives you power it will also give you a strength confidence in your life so if you feel that this, this document will be useful to any of your uh, friends or relative 
you may also share this video to those people which and through which you can also help your friends and relatives and i will come again with another topic until then goodbye rasiya kali